Hey everyone, I've uh, been around the charity shops and a local junk shop, so uh, I've got a bunch of stuff I want to show you that I picked up. Uh, pretty cheap actually, so I don't know where to start. I suppose I'll start with something I got out of Lidl's. I know it's not a junk shop or um, a charity shop, but I picked a couple of these up because they were useful. A couple of, um, it's just a box of, it was upside down as well, wasn't it? Just a box of assorted um, shrink wrap, which is a bit away, and various crimp terminals and things. Um, and some cable ties of what looked like three different colours. Yeah, green, red and black. I picked up a couple of these because they're only $2.99 for this, so... Zip ties are always handy to have. And as I do actually use a lot of these crimp connectors, I figured I'd get a couple while they were there. Um, they had some other assorted tubs there. You could have got one with lots of different um, crocodile clips in, but I've actually got a lot of those, so <laughs> I just didn't bother. Anywho, um, let's start with the stuff from the junk shop, because that is actually the most. So, I call it a junk shop. The actual name is called All Sorts. Um, and I'm not actually in a shop, it's like a little industrial unit. And it is just jam-packed. Full of all sorts. The name really suits it. And it is just like walking into a junk shop, because there's just... There's all sorts there. I mean, there's a toilet seat. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's used, but it's not packaged up in anything and it's in good condition. Um, Toys, games, tools, um, but there's no order because the lady that runs it um, also has kids and I know at least one has autism as well, uh, like I do. So she sort of opens between the school runs, so she'll open once she's dropped the kids off close about half an hour before she has to go and collect her kids but uh, that's probably why it, the shop is just well why there's no organization because she hasn't got the time anyway digging around on one of the um, precariously stacked shells I found these minus a light bracket <laughs> these they're not modern um, in the original box as well, the halogen, so they are pretty bright, and she's put batteries in as well. Unfortunately, they've only come with the bracket for the rear light, but it doesn't matter because I've got two brackets for the front light anyway, because I've already got one of these. I've already got the front one, um, but the front one I've got is, um, well, Nowhere near as good as this, not even close. These are mint like they've never even been on a bicycle, so. I wonder what, why the rear bulb is a different rating when they both use the same batteries. So yeah, a nice, very nice set of lights actually. I've always wanted a set of these. There's all, they're lockable. You see they've got a little key in the back. So you can actually not only lock them to your bike, but you can lock the battery cover. It locks that as well so no one can come along and steal your batteries. All with the turn of a key. I think that's the way, yep, that's the way you got to have it to lock both. Because that's the only way you can get your key out. But down locks it to the bike all the way up, so that narrow part is pointed upwards, releases the battery cover. I have no idea what the... I recognise the colour of these batteries, but I can't think of the brand, and I can't see a... Oh, there it is, Varta. No, I can't, there we go. 
So these will go on one of my bikes and I think I'm going to put them on the green rally. I think that's the one I want to put those on. It'll either be that one or the Universal Rampage. I haven't decided yet. Uh, what else did I get from said junk shop? By the way, everything here that I'm going to show cost me just £13. Bag of various earphones, because I'm always complaining that I don't have any. Well, now I've got plenty. So, I think some of these are actually meant for a mobile phone, like um, hands-free kit. At least one, I can actually tell it is from the connector. But the others are actual... Ear, you know, universal earphones. I'll check those up there for now. I've also got a few items here for the um for the retro corner. And this has just started ticking. I've got an actual wind up alarm clock. Um, I've taken the sticker off now, but she only wanted three pounds for this. Is that the wind up? Yeah, it is. You know, it's one of those with the old ding 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 ding, you know, the actual bells on the alarm clock. Ah. The second hand is not moving. But it is ticking. Oh, it's not the second hand, it's the alarm hand, you dipstick. Look, see? <laughs> been years since I've used anything like this. I used to have one when I was a teenager, actually. So I don't think this is old, old, because I can't find no manufacturer name or anything on it. But I just like the look of it. And I thought that would look nice up in the retro corner in the bedroom. So, got that. Uh, what else did I get? I actually don't know why I got this. But, uh... It's a light bulb. <laughs> um, I don't think Bell, British Electric Lamps Limited, Wimbledon, London still exist. I don't think they exist anymore. If my grammar is messed up, it's because it's late at night. Then again, it's messed up most of the time. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. SBC connector. A 60 watt candle bulb, apparently to this. But again, it's something that no longer exists. I've not seen these in any shop, at least not around here anyway. So I'm going to look into it because I'm pretty certain they don't exist anymore, but I could be wrong, so don't take my word for it. Uh, the other thing I picked up but you know what I'm like for lights, that's probably why I bought that. <sighs> Got one of these. It's not the Ever Ready version, it's the Exide version. But, comes with a battery as well and... Uh, my brother said it's not that bright, but... It's firing a pretty good beam. I mean, it's not the best, it is old. How do you, do we pop this off? I had one of these years ago and I can't remember how you get the back. Ah, I see. You've got to pop the back off, but I won't do that now. I'm just curious to see what battery um, has been put in it, what brand. So yeah, I've got that. But we are not finished yet. A couple of uh, PlayStation 2 games. I know that one's got the right disc in, but I didn't actually check this one. There's quite a few of games, well, all sorts of console games dotted around, but someone had been in and taken the discs out. Yeah, this one's got the disc in as well. I didn't check condition though. But I should have done, because that's not a genuine disc, look at that. Genuine discs are not blue, not for the PS2, they should be black. Which is actually really weird, because... I wonder if someone actually had it copied because 
the original one got too scratched because this looks like an original case. Blue, you know. I didn't check the other one. Is that a copied one as well? I could be wrong. These ones could be original because... I have to say the print on there is pretty um, convincing if it is a copied disc. Well, there's only one way to find out. Just put them in my PS2 if it plays it, then they're normal discs. If it doesn't, then they're copied. Because my PS2 is not a modified one. Right. I have also got... And I've just realised that there's a couple of items I've missed, so I'll pause the video in a minute and go and get them. Set of Christmas lights. In fact, I've got four sets. Um, reason for purchase, they are clear. Huzzah! Luna seems to like clear lights. <laughs> because last year, I was actually struggling to um, decorate my tree with this style of light. Um, I've got a nice big set of LED, but they're cold white. I don't want cold white. I want a nice warm glow on my tree. So when I saw these... I had to get them so these ones do work they've been tested they work uh, as do these in fact I can actually prove it to you because I've got a socket right here Oop. there we go I thought they would change color fiber optic but they are actually red which doesn't bother me I actually quite like them. I don't know if I'd consider these ones Christmassy though. These just look more like um, an all year round decorative set. So I may end up hanging those somewhere. But just quickly. All I can hear is that clock ticking behind me. Oop, there we go. See? Nice warm glow which is why I like these old style lights. Yeah. That one is a full working set, so the other two I can't test because they've got bulbs missing, so I haven't sorted those yet. But I've got this little old vintage set, and um, it's got some sh two shades missing, a couple broken, and a couple of light bulbs missing. But I might be able to find bulbs if it works great, if they don't. I'm just going to pull the bulbs out if I can. I've actually noticed some of these are actually... Um... Oh! That's interesting, look at that. The whole thing is a bulb, including the shade. That one... I'm not convinced that one's going to work, to be honest. But yeah, if they don't work, I'm sure I can do something with them. Now I can't get the bulb back in. Oh shit. Just broke the last petal off that shade. Can't get it back in because I'm putting it in around the wrong way. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's a, a set to be fixed. And it came with a cable. Just an ordinary bit of flex like off a vacuum cleaner or something connected to that which was then connected to another piece of flex it's quite a bodge it obviously worked but it was quite a bodge and I wouldn't have recommended doing it that way there is another way that you can do it the other one is this big old set I don't actually know how many is in this set but it's I don't think it's a hundred my brother estimated a hundred, but I don't think it's a hundred set. Two thirty volt, thirty eight watt. The bulb, the fuse bulb was two and a half volt, and the ordinary bulbs are two and a half volts. Zero point three eight watts. And a fuse bulb is apparently 0 0.3 watts. Well, yeah, I've got to test these as well. There's a couple of bulbs missing. And someone seems to have cut, I think, I'm going to count these, 
but I think it's just the last bulb but I can join the wires together and uh, this should work to be honest I've just got to find a couple of replacement bulbs which I should have in a case through there uh, if I missed anything yes I don't know why because I've got loads of these but I do like to have a, you know spares kicking around it's not the same one on the box either but it doesn't matter just an ethernet LAN card uh, I can't find a manufacturer on this yes I can it's real tech The only reason I know that is because I recognise that little crab. Can you see him on that chip? It's real tech. Uh, in here, I picked this up because uh, I put the box, put it in the box to protect it. But I just wanted that for my floppy disk collection. I don't think I've got any Ethernet card that's going to work with this, but I, don't know, I can try. Yeah, just really wanted that just for the floppy disk collection. Right. I've got a couple of items I need to go collect. Go collect. Go get out of the bedroom. So I'm just going to pause you for a moment. Okay, I'm back. Even though it doesn't look like I've actually moved an inch. But I have because uh, I picked up this. <laughs> um, which isn't mains. I thought it was when I saw it, but it's... Um, battery operated and these are LED these are actually bulbs but they've got LEDs in so I can unscrew it as a bulb See? but uh, when I actually got this out of the bag someone had modified this as well and connected a um, power adapter to this straight to the two battery contacts where my fingers are and uh, it was one of those um, power adapters that's got the um, selectable voltage on it. So they could plug it in instead of... Um, instead of... Uh, oh, that wire's looking a bit... How are you doing? I might have to um, modify this myself. Yes, yeah, so you could plug, run it from an adapter rather than batteries. But this does work from batteries as it is. And I do have the... Um, cover for the battery compartment I, it just fell off it won't stay on so that was one so yeah I got quite a few Christmas lights if it was a bit closer to Christmas I might have been tempted by a lot of the other Christmas decks that were floating around right the other one is another light it's my second one of these I've got two of these now I was trying to find the light switch there it is Oop. even came with batteries in it I've actually noticed some of the LEDs in there are pointed at a funny angle. Which, uh, <laughs> well, I suppose this was a cheap illumination out of QDs, I believe. So, you know, it's cheap. The LEDs aren't going to be pointed in the right direction, are they? Now, I've got another charity item that I forgot to show you, and a couple of new items. I have got that to build. I haven't bought Lego for a, about a month, so I thought I'd treat myself to a couple of sets. That one I've got to build. This one I've already built. A little Lego Technic set, which I actually think is great. And I'm going to buy another one of these because it's a two-in-one set. I can dismantle this and make a little fire truck. Ow! But uh, instead of dismantle this one, I'll buy another one of these and build the fire truck, so I'll have both. Um, yeah, so there's two new items. In the community shop in town, I've got a couple of DVDs. Hello. Luna approves. I don't know if Nemo approves, probably not. Um, I have no idea if that's good or not. I'll find out. It's a PG. It's a PG. And my mum actually likes 
Lee Evans. And this hasn't even been used, look, it's still in its cellophane. But uh, I will confess, I do like Lee Evans, so. <laughs> right, the last thing I'm going to have to move for this. Sorry, Nemo. Oh no, I'm a pain in the ass. But, uh, I did sort of think about this because I didn't think if I actually needed it or not, but I decided I can make use of it. Ah. A CD rack. They did have it priced at 350 but this tag, they've crossed that out like, and put it as a £1.50. So I thought, why not, you know? I've worked out I could get 25 discs on each, hang on a minute. Oh yeah, it is. For some reason, for a second there, I was thinking it was an audio tape shelf, but then I thought, too tall. <laughs> And these are too narrow anyway. But yeah, I've worked out 25 per shelf, so about 125 CDs I could get on this, which might get all the CDs on here that I've got under my drawer in the bedroom. I've just got to find somewhere to put this. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in the bedroom or if I'm going to put it in here. You know, like over by the stereo or something. To be decided. But uh, it's black and a lot of my furniture is going black as you've probably noticed. And I've actually been tempted that furniture I've got left that I like that is not black, I'll paint black. <laughs> So I've, got, I've actually got some shelf units here. I could um, spray those up as well. Anyway. That is it. And I want to get a drink, but my can is empty. Yeah, that is it for this uh, haul. Quite a few bits. I'm going to start going up to the All Sorts Warehouse a bit more often as well. Because it's just... I don't know why, but I just love walking around that place and searching seeing what you know little treasures I can find. I might find some more little knickknacks that I could stand over in that retro corner like the clock. Possibly that X side torch. Wonder I've got a number of torches I could put in there. Which isn't a bad thing because I could rotate them and have a different one when I get bored of having one on display. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.